Hello everyone and welcome yourselves back to the channel here for the next episode of Waterloo Road Season 5. This being the third episode. Hope you're all doing well. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, spoils ahead. Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on this episode and enjoy the video. So, you know, third episode in... We're sort of used to Max at uh, this point in time and his tension and disagreement and disapprovals between Rachel, the way he's dealing with the staff members, the way he's got Tom barking down the English um, staff and the way he's got Joe Lipsit basically keeping a close eye on Steph. You have Danielle and Alicia who show up to school drunk and then obviously it's... Ex- um, it evolves into this thing where Paul decides to give her so that's a bit worse than alcohol and puts poison into her body and basically almost kills her. So obviously you can guarantee that they would get caught later in the episode by um Mr. Strict Man himself, Max. Obviously Bolton is not in his good books. And what I like is is obviously we saw Rachel stay as the head teacher in the last season because of Bolton. Um, So, I'm not entirely sure if Rachel and Bolton are going to actually interact as much, but I would love to see um, more of them going forward, because this season we haven't really seen them two interact. She's either been busy elsewhere, obviously with Lindsay Case, or Max has been dealing with her, which is going to be intriguing going forward because Bolden has, has a lot of respect for Rachel, and now he's very fearful of Max. So it's going to be intriguing to see how much trouble he tries to stay out of, especially because Paul sort of got him into trouble in this episode. You've got Kim wrapped around Max's finger because she's sort of siding with Max at times, going on dates, and they're basically a couple at this point. You've got Carla, who's trying to do the right thing and be there for Emily, but also getting bullied by Lindsay and being targeted by all of the cronies involved in the other school. Even one who managed to get a tattoo on her hand and managed to start crying and get pulled into the HR department, if you will. Not human resources, but it's Kim's department, because obviously tattoos are illegal, but they allowed them to get away with it, because why not? Um, And I'm looking forward to seeing more of Siobhan's character because she is very much nothing like Lindsay or Amy. And she sort of stands out on her own. She wants to be part of the Waterloo Road group. She wants to be in a group of people who will not force her to do stuff. But at this moment in time, she's terrified because Lindsay does have psycho bones. She's willing to fight anybody, throw anyone under the bus. Like I said, she, she... I mean, but the thing is, Siobhan attacked Carla as well, so it's kind of pot kettle black at the same time. Um, but it's good that Danielle, by the end of the episode, was in a good state. She obviously learned from her lesson. Steph is on very thin ice, but obviously she's going back to college to get herself back on track. And it's going to be intriguing to see the relationship between Joe and uh, Steph going forward to see if they can build a better foundation and hopefully that Steph can learn a bit of English. Tom obviously dealing with Josh now being his son, confronting his ex-girlfriend and obviously trying to get the full facts. So again, it's going to be intriguing to see the relationship between Tom and Josh going forward and to see if they actually become closer. And obviously you can also tell most of the students are starting to wear the Waterloo Road uniform, Emily, Josh and um, Roz, who obviously had a very joyful episode with Philip. And I've got to admit, Philip is so cringy. It's so awkward and so funny at the same time. It's absolutely brilliant. The whole stand-up thing, the way he was speaking to Roz, the way he's like, bye. And it just, it, 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 to play him, it must have been an absolute delight. He is such a funny character. I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens between him and Roz. Um, but yeah, the tone of the show is really good. I love this villainous person in the show having max there truly tests everything rachel has done the past couple of seasons tom seems to be a very well established character at this point he's very much one of the 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 elites if you will even more elite than grantley because grantley doesn't really do much but actually this episode grantley was actually really good in the classroom so that was really reassuring to see you've got sambuka and lauren and 
Michaela, who sort of rivaled the, the other girls at the other school. They're sort of the main rivalry in the girl department. So, again, it's going to be intriguing to see if any more fights break out between them. But overall, it's looking really exciting and really intriguing. It looks like Luke of um, the other school. I can't, I can't remember the name. Um, Josh's friend who he walked who when they walked together on the first day, so it's going to be intriguing to see him return to the show because I think he's been absent the past episode or two and see why he's so heavily involved in the main storyline, especially being one of Max's ex pupils. Also, excited to see where Chris's loyalty will lie going forward and whether he will push more towards Rachel like Kim's pushed towards Max. I think that'll be a cool contrast in differences because Kim is obviously massively on Max's side and is trying to push for Max's abilities and will and wants going forward and undermine Rachel where she can. So that's why it's a very intriguing thing. Rachel brought Kim back to the school and now she's very much undermining her by going behind her back and obviously siding with Ray with Max on most things, but also being there for Rachel every now and again. So a terrific, terrific episode, a lot going on. I'm very excited to see what happens to Danielle, uh, what will happen with Paul and Bolton, what their punishment will be, and obviously generally what will happen with the senior staff members What's going to be happening with them going forward with Chris, Kim, Max and Rachel? Will they ever get along? We'll find out soon. Uh, let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on this episode. Back tomorrow with the next episode. Currently one episode at a time at the moment due to just timing at the moment. Maybe more on Friday because I've got a freer schedule. But until then, subscribe and like. See you next one. Goodbye.